Hello, this is Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails with a few words about our new record, Ghosts. The idea really came about um, last fall. I was thinking about what it felt like being free from a record label, finally, and kind of in between major projects. Um, and I realized when I went in the studio or sat down at an instrument, and if I didn't think about it and was just daydreaming, music started to flow out. And it came out very effortless and kind of formless. But it was fun to do, and it got me thinking. Um, uh, it might be interesting to do a record where I never put the editorial brain, never switched that brain on, and let these ideas just kind of turn into whatever they turn into. So um, I kind of set up some parameters to work within. And I gave myself uh, 10 weeks. I teamed up with uh, my partner Atticus Ross, who I'd worked with in the last few records, and we just kind of went into a room and decided whatever came out at the other end we were going to release. And that could be one song or it could be whatever, whatever happened. And that's something I, I feel I wouldn't have been as comfortable trying to pull off on a major label. I mean, mainly because they, don't, they wouldn't know what to do with it, depending on what it is. <clears throat> and it just felt like something I wanted to do because it felt um, exciting and different and kind of fun. So we went to work, and much to our surprise, we wound up with 36 tracks, um, all instrumental. And it became a, basically a soundtracks to daydreams. You know, I found that if I just let myself go and pictured something in my head, stuff just started to happen. I mean, I tinkered around with this idea on the Fragile album in a kind of much much more lush setting. And this time around, I just really wanted to experiment with different sounds and textures and feelings, um, really in a kind of um, impressionist way, and see what happened. And it was, a, it was probably the most fun I've had in the studio for a long time. There was, there was no... There was no agonizing over content or direction, and it removed the whole process of trying to shape the music into pop song structure. And it really was a real collaboration where I would just play a lot of source material, and Atticus shaped it into whatever it got shaped into. Um, I had uh, Alessandro Cortini play on some things. Um, Adrian Ballou came by and played on some things. Uh, Brian Viglione from the Dresden Dolls came by and played on a few tracks. And it just became a, a fun collaboration that was very low pressure and ended up being fun. Alan Mulder came in at the end and applied his genius mixing and engineering. And we wound up with something that we're all very proud of and kind of stunned that we did so much in so little time. <laughs> 